as our children enter into teen years of life, the parents also uh, enter into a spying mode. And all of us become the best 007 detectives. Because we all want to follow our children and see what kind of activities they are taking up when they leave our house or when they are in the colleges. So, you know, everyone tries to keep a watch on their children. Some people try to use mobiles. Others, you know, use social networking sites. And rest of them, you know, actually physically follow their children everywhere they go. But I chose to follow my daughter through her handwriting. I was intensely analyzing her handwriting all the time. If you can see the sample, this is my daughter's handwriting sample. And when I noticed certain changes into her writing, I was a little bit disturbed. My daughter was in 8th standard when I noticed that her G's and Y's are becoming slightly bigger, broader, and they are also showing different kinds of shapes. I was a little bit worried because these, was, these signs were indicating that she is interested in relationships and dating. Being a mother, naturally, I wanted to keep a watch on her. So I started counseling her on how uh, dating is not the right time and what are its disadvantages. Initially, she was quite reluctant to listen to me and she didn't follow my advice. But later on, uh, she followed my advice and she found that, yes, instead dating is not the right thing to do. So, you know, she uh, started ch changing and there were quite positive traits in, into her writing later on. Then I found out that she, was, she also started counseling her peer peoples. And you know, they, she also talked them out of their depression and the teenagers' issues. I mean, this kind of issues every teenager faces. All of them know that uh, they are going to end up into a relationship. There are so much peer pressure into their classes. They, are, they talk so much about all these relationship issues into early years. But my daughter was so so much confident that she can handle all this. Today, she is 18 years old, a very mature, a very, very, very talented, and a very level-headed girl. And I'm so proud that Graphology could help me bring my child into becoming what she is today. Welcome to the world of Graphology, where handwriting speaks, but we don't know how to listen to it. Because, Handwriting, so, so many of us have heard about handwriting. But you will wonder, is that even a question, what is handwriting? Everyone knows what is handwriting is. But actually, I'll tell you an interesting fact. Handwriting is brain writing. If someone uses foot or mouth for writing, still the brain is instructing and the thoughts which are coming inside the brain are reflected on the paper. So you can see that whatever we are writing is the reflection of our brain. Now the, here comes the role of graphology. What is graphology? Graphology is study of doodles, drawings, sculptures, paintings, and handwriting. Anything which is written on the paper can be studied by the graphology. It could be even on the wall, it could be even on the uh, paper, or even on some uh, leaves, anywhere, on any surface. But a graphology has, graphologists can read and analyze the physical, mental, and emotional states of the writer. Now, as you can know that the children do not talk with us each and everything. And, and the parents also don't discuss each and everything with the children. But these are the common issues which nowadays children face. Technology. Technology has creeped into our life to such an extent that it has become impossible for us to separate it. And you know, all the children are glued to their gadgets all the time. They are, you know, all the time on WhatsApp, social networking sites, Facebooks, and whatnot. But they don't know anything about the immediate family members. They have long friend list. They have long um, friend list on Facebook, social networking sites, and you know, they are WhatsApping, they are texting, they are talking, but they don't know anything about their family members. 
and what about the parents the parents also don't know that what is going on in the child's spine because the parents are also excessively busy with lot of work pressure targets late night parties less interaction with the kids and you know trying to compensate their absence to different kinds of gadgets now there are different points of views between the parents and the children and then there are lot of conflicts in the families certain parents want their children to take up different type of careers which they want their children to take up even though if the children want them or not it's not important the prestige is more important for the parents than the choice of their children as you can see this is the real case studies which i will demonstrate in my talk this is a handwriting of a 13 year old kid he was summoned by his class teacher and he was told that he is very argumentative very arrogant and very restless in the class he used to keep changing places in the class during the lectures and the teacher whenever the teacher will ask the child something the child used to be asking lot of questions the teacher felt that he is very much argumentative similarly whenever teacher would say something to him he would he would answer very arrogantly so the teacher was very upset that why this child is behaving like that as you can see his writings will show they are going into left and right and uh, vertical directions even though you all are not graphologists but at least you can make out some writings are going towards the left some are going to the right some are going vertically that is because he was emotionally instable and because of this emotional instability he was restless in the class similarly if you see his p's his p's are going into the upper zone now in graphology there are three zones upper middle and lower zone in the upper zone the p's are going indicating that he was getting very much argumentative now because of this attitude the teachers were upset but when his father was called on the parent teacher meeting and the teacher complained his, his father was so upset that he couldn't understand why my child is behaving like that so he consulted me he was a very close friend of mine i told him to make certain changes and then he said my son never apologizes he is so arrogant he is so argumentative i just i just asked him a simple question did you ever apologize in front of him and do you know what he tell told me never he never apologized in front of his son and he expects his son to apologize how the son will learn to apologize if you don't walk the talk so as parents we also need to understand that when we tell our children to follow certain things we also have to uh, i mean actually bring it into our behavior as you can see this second case study it is of a child who was really depressed he was sent to the hostel you can see the base lines and the writing falling towards base lines it is descending downwards the child was sent to the hostel and he was feeling very much homesick so you know the child wrote letters to his to his parents but the parents did not pay any heed to his letters and did not take up seriously and the child committed suicide one day it's such a disturbing fact every day we read in newspapers that teenagers and kids are committing suicide because of academics because of failures because of so many other issues but why not address them if if we can learn early signs of depression and suicide in their writings why not help them out this is the third case study wherein the child was forced into engineering although she was more interested in performing arts creative uh, areas dance and music the parents wanted her to take engineering just because engineering being a very prestigious education career but the child did not wanted to have engineering as her career and she ended up not i mean she couldn't pass engineering within one go but ultimately she uh, completed her engineering and then again joined performing arts what's the point of you know uh, spending 4 years and wasting it and then joining a, a performing artist or a performing uh, area so here you can see the large l and the n and h and m these are all the indicators which uh, engineer should need in his writing i know all the ted organizers are most of the engineers and you should have a watch on your writing buddies for this now this is a case study number 
This is a writing of a child who is just 14 years old. She is very talented in music and dance, extremely bold and practical. And she is such a great talent that I can challenge that even Shreya Ghoshal cannot be, you know, a better singer than her. But she is forced into education. She is, she is uh, scolded by her teachers. Because of that, her parents are very much upset. And you know what? She has developed certain kinds of inferior complex because everyone criticizes her. Everyone tells her, you are stupid, you are dumb, you are useless, you are good for nothing. So she has practically believed that she is nowhere. She is, I mean, good for nothing. But if you can see her middle zone, this middle zone indicates that she is craving for attention. She wants appreciation. She wants love and care. But what are we giving them? What are we giving her? We are just criticizing her. We are just constantly comparing her with other kids. Every child is unique, as it was, uh, you know, shown in Tare Zameen Par in Amir Khan's movie. Every child is unique. You cannot force each child to into a particular set of education. Even if he's, he or she is not performing in his academics, it, it can be you know, a different field where it, it can perform. The child can perform well. So why not give it a try? But the parents want that if they want something, it has to be like this. We have to leave this attitude. Now this is case study five. In this case, there was a daughter was gifted a property by her parents and the daughter was married off later on but before getting married she was also she also signed a legal paper wherein she has given rights to her parents to sell off the property once she was married her husband brainwashed her because she he was not uh, financially well and the property was a very prime location so the husband told her to file a case against her parents and the girl filed a case against her parents. Not only she dragged him in, them into the court, she physically assaulted their, uh, her parents in one of the interactions. And that was such a severe blow to the parents. When the parents approached me for this case, they were literally in tears in my office. And I, I felt so bad for them. The mother was literally in tears. She couldn't control herself because of the child's behavior. Why the child did that? You look at her O's and A's and G's and o, this another G. She was getting materialistic, she was lying, she had developed on dishonest traits and least of all, this G and the center slide which shows a curve like this, that's called as felon's claw. Now this felon's claw is in the writings of the people who have the habit of backstabbing everyone. They will stab you at the back. They will be very good, very sweet while they talk, but they will backstab you. And this is the trait which never fails a graphologist. And this trait has been found very common in people who backstab or who are very dishonest. If had the parents consulted the graphologist or had the parents known these kinds of traits earlier, either they could have rectified this or, you know, they could have mentally prepared themselves for this kind of... Uh, mental torture because once the case was filed the, the girl said that I have not signed this legal document and then I had to I'm also a forensic expert so I had to you know compare the signatures original signatures and the disputed ones and I found out that her signatures were matching that means she was lying and the parents were totally correct but they had to undergo a severe mental torture apart from that so much of legal costing expenses and you know a bad name in the society because they were from a very reputed family so all these things you know sum up to one thing that parents as parents we need to keep a watch on our children and specifically if you consult a graphologist then you can get a lot of peek into the children's men mentality into their mental in I mean the mental instability if there is any if there is any physical problem if there is any you know, emotional problems you can sort it out what is graphotherapy? This is also a part of graph graphology wherein you can bring some positive changes by changing some traits into your handwriting and then the negative traits become positive traits. And it's very effective. Although it takes some time, it takes over six months, one year. But be patient. This will work. This will definitely work. Now, let me sum up my talk with these three lines. This is a very famous ghazal sung by late Jagjit Singh. Fasle nazro ka dhoka bhi ho sakta hai. Fasle nazro ka dhoka bhi ho sakta hai. Wo mile na mile, haath badha ke to dekho. These lines tell us 
that distances are just perception of mind. If we really, really want to develop a good relation with our children or with anyone else, we need, we need to approach them. We need to, you know, extend a helping hand to them. And we need to work upon it. If the parents, you know, open up with their children and the children also do the same thing with the parents, I don't think that the relationships will not improve. That will definitely improve and that will work in a very positive manner. So let us not be in an illusion. You know, and there are illusions in the minds of the parents that whether my child will listen to me or not. And there are dilemmas in the minds of the children whether my parents will listen or agree to me or not. But let us not, you know, be into our illusions and dilemmas and bridge a wall between our parents and children. We should, bridge a, we should develop a bridge between parents and children. And graph logic can help you bridge this gap and develop a very positive and responsive relationship with your children. Thank you so much for giving me a patient care.